So today I thought I'd explain uh, portals and how they connect. So first off you have to understand that the conversion factor between the overworld and the netherworld is a uh, 8 to 1. So in other words you take your overworld coordinate like 397 and you divide it by 8 and you'll get about 49. Um, you don't divide your height so you can see my coordinates up there 397 120 that would convert to about 49 120 and uh, the negative 826 would convert to about negative 103 in nether coordinates. So what happens when you walk through a portal? Well in the overworld, um, well in both worlds really what happens is you go to the other world so in the overworld you go to the nether and then in the nether you search out a, uh, a distance. So the distance is in fact 128 meters. You go into the nether, look out 128 meters in each direction and that forms a big box. So there's a big cube because you do it from uh, bottom to the top of the world and in that big cube you search for all the portals nearby and uh, whichever portal is nearest by just a pure straight distance like height counts um, then that's the portal you're going to zip to. So over here I've built two little uh, ruined portals that are actually uh, places inside my uh, nether space that uh, there's two portals. And so anyway, so this portal would be the one of the two that that portal up there on top of that hill uh, would connect to because it's just slightly closer to, uh, to this portal that I started at. So those two would connect. The, um, the trick is, is when you go from a portal here in the nether, so let's say this is my nether portal that, you know, is actually in the nether, it's not here. Uh, what happens is you, again, you go to the overworld and you search out 128 meters in each direction and, uh, and just take that cube in the overworld and look in it and say, okay, what's, you know, what, what portal is in there? And uh, so I might say, okay, there's, you know, there's some portals over here and there is some portal over here and, I, you know, this, this turns out to be the closest portal, so that's fine. Um, you know, these two connect. Uh, what's interesting is that because of that 8 to 1 ratio, you're actually at a, uh, a kind of a funny thing goes on, is that when you go from the nether to the overworld, you're only searching out, you know, 128 meters in the overworld, right? Which is not much in the netherworld. That's like, you know, 16 meters in the netherworld. Um, so that's the area that you're searching for any portals. So it's pretty easy to just walk around in the nether and go, you know, and then build a portal somewhere and then you'll pop up and it, there won't be any portals nearby in the overworld and so a new portal will get created. In the overworld, however, what happens is there's sort of a one-way effect. It's like, the, it's like the nether portals are like giant magnets and the overworld portals are kind of weak magnets that don't have much range. In the overworld, what happens is a very interesting thing is that instead of uh, instead of being just you know 128 meters that you're searching out, you're actually searching out 1,024 meters. So it's really like this huge cube as far as overworld coordinates. You know, it's only 128 square in uh, in nether coordinates, but in overworld coordinates, you're searching in through a huge, huge area. So that's that's sort of an interesting problem <laughs> is that basically if you build an overworld you know uh, portal way out in the middle of nowhere you may say oh okay well this will be great you know I'll go to that portal that uh, you know I'll jump into the nether and you jump into the nether and then up oh, you're stuck because your portal that was here it's just now you know miles away from say your original portal or you know the portal that you jumped to let's say it jumped to this portal um, this portal will then jump to, you know, its closest one over here, and that's as far as it's going to jump anyway. It's just, it doesn't really have much of a range in the nether. So, anyway, like I say, if you think of the nether portals as giant magnets, and you think of these, uh, these you know, overworld portals as weak little magnets, that, uh, you know, that, that might help you. Or also another way that I think about it is sort of giant funnels, you know, that the nether portals suck things from, like, way far away, and the, uh, the overworld portals don't really have much of a range. They don't, like when you move from the nether to the overworld, you, uh, you, you, know, you have to be pretty close to a portal in the overworld to go to it. And that's about it. I think I've explained it to death. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye now.